Hey people, it is Monday, December the 25th. It is 8.32 in the evening on Christmas Day. I just left my sister's house. It is a very mild 6 degrees right now. We had a very foggy and uncharacteristically mild Christmas here in Toronto. Of course, no snow to be seen anywhere in the area. So I'm just walking north here, up my sister street towards Bloor Street. And once I get to Bloor, I'm going to walk east along Bloor Street. As I make my way home, I thought I'd take a bit of a scenic route and record a walk along the way. There was a more direct route I could take to get to my sister's, but it's still relatively early in the evening. I just had dinner there at my sister's and hung out for a bit. Saw her and my nephews and my brother-in-law, and we had a good time. And my sister gave me a little care package to take home, which you can see here. <laughs> So here's Bloor Street. So it's normally about an hour walk from my sister's to my place, but I thought I would record maybe two videos on the walk home. We'll see how quiet the city is here on a Christmas day evening when I was out and about earlier in the day live streaming it was actually quite busy in some parts of downtown Young Street Young and Dundas and parts of Queen Street were quite lively many things were open but I think by now almost everything is most certainly closed other than some restaurants and convenience stores and things of that nature I have the feeling this would be a much quieter walk the old Paradise Theater. So this is the Bloordale neighborhood. There is a bit of a breeze right now, so I am using my DJI Mic 2 to counteract the wind noise. I find on non-windy days though that the internal microphone here on the Pocket 3 is actually quite good and I think I'll probably opt to use the internal mic on non-windy days or if I'm indoors. Oh, looks like some old storefronts were demolished here. I'm trying to remember what was there before. I might have to look at an older video or a street view. Or Mini Mart is open. It's 
So convenience stores. I think Rabba's are also open, the small grocery chain. If you do have a need to get some groceries, you can always go to a Rabba. They're open 24 hours as well. Shoppers seems to be closed. It's kind of good to be walking all the way back because I ate a bit too much <laughs> at my sister's there. I think it's best to walk it off. The black horse next to another bar, literally. The Pizza Hut is open. And we've already made our way to Ossington Avenue here. And Ossington Station over there. People are waiting to get into Miracle on Bloor Street. <laughs> I'll assume that's a club of some sort. So there are things to do on Christmas night here on Bloor Street.
I'm sure for those in the know, there are plenty of things going on in the city. Holiday or no holiday. say though this is probably the quietest I've ever seen this part of Bloor Street certainly while recording a video reminds me a little bit of when I do my early morning 6 a.m. walks kind of feel like you have the city to yourself Clarice, Clarice, that's what I'm trying to say. Hello, Clarice. Looks like this barber shop is open. Kind of surprising. Christy Pitts Park across the street. We're going to be entering Koreatown in the next few minutes. I thought of trying out the low light setting, but I don't have it turned on right now. Maybe in my next video I'll give it a go. 
don't think it's really necessary right now. I find this camera does a pretty good job without the low light setting. My older Osmo Pocket also did a pretty good job with nighttime videos. That one didn't even have a low light setting. There's Gray Street, Christie on the other side. And here's where we start walking through Koreatown. Probably gonna be pretty dead. There are a lot of restaurants, obviously. We'll see how many of those are open right now. The subway station is just right over here. And you got the Koreatown Tiger. Well, everything looks pretty closed up to me on that side of the street. Well, I see one that's open, the Owl. The Owl never sleeps. This is open too, the Korean barbecue. There's a fair number of people inside. Another one. Maybe I spoke too soon. There do seem to be quite a few open here. Chat time is also open. So come to Koreatown if you're wondering what to do on Christmas night. I think Chinatown would be quite similar with most restaurants being open. Even the East Coast Donair and Grill restaurant is open. But every retail store 
is obviously closed or seems to be. You can eat, but you can't shop. Grillies was open, but there was no one in there. Just one bored looking employee. But Korean Village is not open. That's a very popular restaurant. I'm kind of surprised that one is closed right now. Getting kicked off the sidewalk here. We're putting the finishing touches on this redevelopment of the Honest Ed site. Got some new sidewalks going in here. These will be new retail stores. Got apartments above. And of course, the taller apartment towers where the Honest Ed store itself was located. These are all rentals, not condos. Mervish Village used to lie here on Markham Street and it will be returning as part of this new development. I think I have to cross the street here. alternative other than walking in the same lane as the cars.
Pizza Pizza is not open. If you're looking for Toronto's worst pizza, you're out of luck tonight. At least at this location. And here's Bathurst Street. Bathurst Station right over there. You can get a fat burger at Fat Burger. So now we're coming into the annex after crossing Bathurst and also entering within what is considered downtown. The Hot Dogs Ted Rogers Cinema we just passed, the cinema that shows documentary movies. It looks like people were just coming out of there, I suppose it's closed down. Most movie theaters are open on Christmas Day. Palace. I wonder if there's anything going on there tonight. Japan Sushi is open. But Sushi on Bloor is closed. It's kind of hit and miss. And the Victory Cafe. This was located in Mervish Village at one time. Probably won't be returning there when Mervish Village reopens. Furniture warehouse. Not only is it open, but they're always playing their loud copyright music. It's a bit lower right now. It's nice to know on a holiday they turn the volume down a bit. <laughs> This is a great neighborhood with lots of good places to go.
just come here on another night that's not Christmas night, and you'll see a lot more activity. <coughs> BMV books, music, and videos. Probably my favorite business in the annex. It's obviously closed right now. You see they have a Boxing Day sale set for tomorrow, 10% off. I think I'll take us up to Spadina. There's an entrance to Spadina Station right over there. And 7-Eleven, of course, is always open. Here on the corner of Bloor and Spadina as we're about to come out of the annex, but I'm going to wrap things up here. Maybe I can get one shot of the CN Tower as we walk across the street. And there it is. Not very brightly lit up tonight. So I hope you enjoyed the walk here on Christmas night. Starting from my sister's place or just down the street. And we made our way to Bloor Street and walked through Bloordale, Koreatown, and the Annex. Just kind of seeing what's open and what's not open on a very mild December 25th here in Toronto. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also be sure you hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal or via my merch store. 
And you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member or by sending a super thanks if you prefer. And you can find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue.